What's up guys, I'm DK Wrestler and in today's video we're going to be going Funko Pop hunting so let's get right to it. Alright so at the moment we are at Walmart and this kicks off a very interesting Funko Pop hunt we're doing for you guys today. So just a couple weeks ago Snapchat made their own AI of course called Snapchat AI where basically it's kind of like a personalized robot you can have a conversation with it. I even had a full conversation about Star Wars and documentaries like two weeks ago with Snapchat AI so it made me think that it'd be interesting to do a pop hunt where I asked Snapchat AI which Funko Pops that I should get while I'm Funko Pop hunting with you guys today. And hopefully Snapchat AI doesn't want me to buy Pops from Walmart because of course I can already tell that probably it's the same stock as we normally see. All right, so I checked out the Pop section a little bit. There were some workers actually working on rearranging that section so we couldn't really go into depth, but here's a little close up of what I did get of that section. It's usually the same stuff, but I did message Snapchat AI and I sent a photo of the Pop section and my AI said, sorry, I don't understand that yet. This should be an interesting pop pun today. So I'm gonna message right now, which Funko Pops should I get? Let me put a little question mark, boom. And it is typing at the moment, let's save that. That's a tough one. What are some of your favorite movies or TV shows? Well, Snapchat AI, a lot of my favorite TV shows and movies, uh, Walmart does not have in Funko Pop form in stock at the moment. So I guess technically we don't have to buy any Funko Pops here at Walmart. And before we leave Walmart, I thought I would show off these cool Crash Bandicoot figures that I found, including Biker Crash from the third game. We got Coco Bandicoot. Behind that is regular Crash Bandicoot with Aku Aku. And then behind that one is Coco Bandicoot, which is the same figure as we have right here in the front and then behind Coco is this wicked looking Crash Bandicoot which I'm not sure if this is like a version from the newer game like the fourth game it's about time and then we have Dr. Neo Cortex with Uka Uka which is really cool that all of these figures come with really cool masks like I know that these two that come with Coco and Crash are from the newer game of number four it's about time so it's really cool to see these I could consider at some point getting these maybe if they drop down a little more in price. All right, so we are out of Walmart and thank goodness Snapchat AI told me that I didn't have to buy any pops from Walmart considering there wasn't my favorite TV shows or movies at Walmart, but we are actually outside of Value Village, which you may have seen that store in some of Tristan from Top Pops videos. It's basically a secondhand store, kind of like Goodwill. Okay, so right now I will be messaging Snapchat AI. Should I buy a, oh, I just put Zai. Should I go into Value Village to find a Funko Pop? Oh, question mark and send. And let's see what Snapchat AI says. It's worth checking out. You never know what treasures you might find there. So I guess we are going to be going into Valley Village and seeing what possible Funko Pops there could be inside of there. All right, so I am in the toy section of Valley Village and it doesn't look like I'm finding any luck in finding any Funko Pops, but I just noticed here there is a Buzz Lightyear figure, which is pretty cool being a huge fan of Toy Story. Uh, that is, I believe, Daphne from uh, Scooby-Doo. And then there's some other stuff, but yeah, no luck in finding any pops. All right, so we left Value Village, and now we're gonna be heading to what most likely will be our last stop on this pop hunt, and that is our local GameStop. So let's see what pops they got, and if Snapchat AI will allow me to buy them. All right, so we are inside of GameStop, and I noticed actually quite a bit of new things since the last time I was here. So the first thing that we have here is the exclusive comic covers of She-Hulk for the Marvel lineup, which I believe this was normally a Target exclusive. So it's really cool that this is actually here at GameStop so I can see it in person. And I do see two brand new pops up on top of each other. And the first one is Henry Jones Sr. from the Indiana Jones movie, which I'm not really a fan of the price tag being right where the number is because who knows if you're going to cause 
box damage like that. And then we also have the C-3PO for the Return of the Jedi 40th Anniversary set, which this one is not too bad, but I do like the Encounter on Endor moments much better because it's basically like adding this pop and then the log grate on top of it. So you're not really getting much of a new pop with this one. And speaking of new pops for sets that I do collect, it's WWE with Rocky Maivia, which I believe actually as I'm recording this video will be the launch of the Funko Shop exclusive metallic Rocky Maivia that will be launching on the Funko Shop and eBay's Funko website. So it's cool to actually see this pop in person and that hairstyle is on fleek. Wait, do people even say on fleek anymore? And then I do see a pop of Rin from Inuasha. And this, and is this one of the pops that actually, yeah, this was announced like two weeks ago and it's already here at my local GameStop, which is pretty insane. We do got some pops from the movie Luck, which I believe, okay, of course this would be the common. I know there's a chase version, I believe of that one. Ooh, I am screwing up the position. Oh, 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 uh oh. And then right over here, I do see some of the Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse Funko Pops, which is really cool, especially that Spider-Man 2099, which is probably my favorite version of Spider-Man. And it's cool that they made a version for this movie. And I'm thinking of debating on getting the Entertainment Earth exclusive version, but you never know. Maybe I should ask Snapchat AI if I should get this Funko Pop and then maybe I'll actually be forced to pick this one up. And then I do notice a couple of the Star Wars like 45th anniversary pops including Luke Skywalker which is really cool considering that this is like Tatooine Luke Skywalker and they never really made a version like this except the one with the lightsaber but this is a little bit more accurate to before he became a Jedi. And then we do have some Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 pops including Adam Warlock which I don't remember if I actually seen this in person which is really cool to actually see it. Loving the detail of that pop and of course Groot is right here too. I know MD actually recently seen Volume 3, which is a surprise since he's a little behind on some Marvel movies, but I do have to watch this movie eventually. And then we got ourselves Rocket, or as I like to call it, Dehydrated Rocket Raccoon, because yeah, somebody give this man an iced tea. And then we do got some more Inuasha Pops from that new lineup. We got Flava Flav, E.T., some of the Dungeons and Dragons Pops. We even got Renoku from Demon Slayer, which yeah, I kind of figure is just the regular one. The other one is a Walmart exclusive. And then we have some of the Disney ones. 100 pops and the new live action little mermaid pops which is pretty sweet dragon ball even up here and i'll zoom in on it quickly is the stranger things phase 3 deluxe moments which is pretty cool md just recently got that and then up here are some things that we've already seen the last couple of weeks like or last little while, I should say, like the 10-inch Super Shredder, the normally Target or Target Con exclusive 10-inch Munchlax, the deluxe of Ariel and Friends from the live-action Little Mermaid, we got some Black Panther Wakanda Forever rides, and the Forlom part of the Bounty Hunter set. But the question is, will Snapchat AI allow me to buy that Spider-Man 2099 Funko Pop? So right now, I am going to take a photo of it on Snapchat and send it to Snapchat AI, send it right over, uh, Snapchat AI should be getting it soon opened and Snapchat AI is typing. It's like, that's a cool find. What other treasures did you discover while you're shopping? Uh, I guess I'll reply, not too much, but should I get that Spider-Man 2099 pop? Question mark. This is the moment of truth. Will Snapchat AI allow me to get that? Spider-Man 2099 pop. Uh, Spider-Man 2099 is a great choice. If you like it, you should definitely get it. Hmm, so Snapchat AI, I guess, is allowing me to buy it if I wanna buy it. I'm still gonna look around here, but I think we may be leaving with that pop. All right, so I'm back from Funko Pop hunting with Snapchat AI, and I did obtain one Funko Pop, but it actually was not the Spider-Man 2099, in which the Funko Pop that I had gotten is the two-pack of The Undertaker and Paul Bearer from the WWE lineup. Now you're probably thinking, DK, did Snapchat AI allow you to buy that Funko Pop? Which after I looked at that Spider-Man 2099 Pop, I went to the front desk and I asked if I had any pre-orders and they said, yeah, you have one pre-order and it was 
that Undertaker and Paul Bearer 2 pack. And so I actually did message Snapchat AI. Unfortunately, I didn't get a recording of it like you've been seeing throughout the video, but I did take a screenshot and I said, hey, Snapchat AI, should I pick up my Undertaker pop from GameStop? In which Snapchat AI replied, if you're a big Undertaker fan and enjoy collecting pops, then it might be worth to pick up the pop from GameStop. But if you're not a huge collector or Undertaker fan, then it might not be worth it, which of course I am a huge Undertaker fan. He is one of, if not my favorite wrestler. Actually, I'll throw up a photo right now of the fact that I actually met The Undertaker at Niagara Falls Comic Con a few years ago. So that tells you how much of a big fan I am. But as terms to the pop, there is the front of it right there. And I believe this actually is the first pop that I actually have in my collection that has that gorgeous GameStop Canada exclusive sticker. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be the end of today's video. If you enjoyed today's video on Funko Pop hunting with Snapchat AI, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. One, two, three, I'm out of here.